day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, everybody. You know, I hope you enjoyed part A, B, C, D. Now we're on E. This is Friday. Uh, and, and I hope you had a great week. And I hope that you did have a great Father's Day uh, last Sunday. But, you know, this is how the videos are coming out. And I just want to be able to kind of give a synopsis of it. Whether it be all the way in sync or not, that's okay because... As what I do is I try to do like a commentary, five minute commentary uh, after the Bible study. So I go like, I go A, B, C, and D, and this one is uh, E. And, and so, so I try to at least make sure I stay consistent in the flow of where we're trying to go. And what we're trying to go is to let you know that we operate in the kingdom of God's way, not the world system. And sometimes when you talk about different ministries, and I'm talking about from Catholic and Baptists and Methodists and all the others, is that we try to incorporate the world system sometime in our way of worship because we bring in what we know. I said, understand that the renewing of mind is to understand where God is coming from, not where we are coming from. So we're sitting there, we're reading the first Samuel chapter eight, if you get a chance to read it. And uh, we, I, I guess I want to pick up where I left off at when God was sitting there saying in verse nine, now therefore hearken unto their voice, all how be it ye protest solemnly unto them and show them the matter of the king that shall reign over them. And, and, and God said, I'm saying is, go ahead and get the people, they want to have a world system. They want to have a world system where they have their own king and their own king do the things that he wants to do to them and, and they'll sit there and, 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 and operate that way because that's a world system. And God is trying to say, look, this is what's going to happen when you operate in the world system. This is what's happening when you get a world king instead of a God king. Hallelujah. I mean, I don't think they got me right there. You know what I mean? But I'm lying, it's in verse 10, 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 10. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked him of a king. And this is what he said in verse 11. And he said, This will be the matter of the king that shall reign over you. He shall take your sons and appoint them for himself, his chariots into his horsemen, and some shall run before his chariots, and he will appoint him captains of a thousand and captains of a fifty. And will set them to, to, to ear his ground and to reap his harvest and make his instruments of war and instruments of his chariots. And he would take your daughters to be confectionaries. I mean, some of the king in Harlem, some of them, whatever they call them, uh, where they, they, they took the people and, and, and made them wives to be cooks and to be bakers, and he would take your fields, your vineyard, your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to the servants, and he would take the tenth of your seed. You know, talking about, you know, you know, this kind of looked like like our world system, right? Even our tax system, you know, it ain't a tenth, it's 36 <laughs> percent. Well, if you talk about cut, cutting taxes, but a lot of people are in the world system. What do you think the world system is going to do? It's going to charge you. It's going to charge you. It's going to take a tenth. Matter of fact, in this case, it takes more than a tenth. Uh, in, in verse 15, in your vineyards, and give it to the officers and the servants. Uh, in verse 16, he said, and he would take your men servants and your maid servants and your goodliest young men and your asses and put them to his work. Hmm, sounds familiar. He will take the tear for your sheep and he shall, and ye shall be his servants. The world system wants you to serve it and then try to get you to make people serve you. Where the kingdom of God is where you serve. You will be great. This country will be great. We'll be servants of all. 
<laughs> slaves? That's what you messed that up. No. But servants, people who care for you, minister to you, provide for you, and look after you. It says here in verse 19, nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, nay, but we will have our king over us. And that's what we have a tendency to do. That's what we see our children do. That they sit there and try to go by the world's way instead of God's way. We got to start focusing on God's way, man. Yeah? Uh, the other piece of that, and, and I'm going to go ahead and put E part one. That's, this is E part one. We'll go E part two and wrap it up. Amen. But remember this. The pyramid is reversed. The greatest is at the bottom, serving everybody else. The least is being served by the greatest. Amen? That's a good concept. Not bad, is it? All right. God bless. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time, all right? Bye-bye. But you know what's really funny about it is that they didn't even eat meat at that time. So animals didn't eat meat before the fall in the garden. So everything was given for herbs. So what they're going to really do is going to be like a big petting zoo. Well, you know, you know, but you know, Evan, Adam, we want to throw it at you is that the uh, if we go with the, the the concept of the garden, because you said in the garden, but there was things outside the garden that I think that was needed to be subdued. You know, mm, okay. but he said, yeah. go replenish the earth and subdue it. You don't subdue something unless it need to be subdued. Yeah, the garden. I don't. They, those things were not needed to be subdued because they're inside the garden. But when they go leave the garden, which is where they were kicked out of the garden. Mm -hmm. But I think eventually, uh, Brother Asin, their attempt was to, you know, because he said go replenish the earth. Yeah. Right? And subdue it. So they, 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 there's no way they could have multiplied and stayed that. in that garden. They would have had to venture out, subdue it, turn exactly. it into a garden exactly you know, and turn the world wow. into a, well is that earth, what the plan was turn the plan. earth into a garden come on so, brother uh, that was the plan that was the plan come on brother that's the point it is it is, it is. <laughs> the search that it still is the plan it our part in it's, the united states of america is to subdue it and cause it to become like the kingdom of god and well, it, the world because and also, you know the world still needs to be subdued and, 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 and i say that to to say that there's in that there's cultivation there is a make it a garden paradise uh existence so that no one is lacking i mean everything was provided yes. for adam and eve they didn't they didn't have to to they didn't have to pull no weeds they just they just existed in there exactly you know, and they 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 uh they just did what God wanted them to do. But and so there was nothing lacking. There no. was no poor. No. You know, the the animals they they weren't lacking anything. No. You know, they didn't need to be caged. No. Or no, they or anything. Didn't <laughs> they didn't even like that. So and each other. All that <laughs> needs to be it's it's still being done, but it's war. Because right. if you have so much food that you have to tell farmers to quit growing food, but yet you have homeless folks who are starving. You have people without food. You have kids whose only meal is when they go to school. Yes. That's bad. That has to do with the world system. That's bad. So it's the world system and it's in it's in 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 the economy. It's the same reason. Well, it's the have to the main mean, thing is, people think, well, why should I have to work for mine and then they just get it free? That's what Who it cares. Like. That's, that's Who that's cares? That's Who cares? That's that awesome that's thing. And you know, one of the things is that when you talk about uh, racism in the world system, uh, when teachers don't go out of the way to help a student, yeah. Right? When they fall in behind early in the in the year, you know, like kindergarten. Yeah, and they just don't deal with. It. They just yeah. let it compound from grade to grade, and then and then you want them to drop out. When you got a system where it's saying that it's based on the grade points or whatever, 
in, in middle school or not, mm -hmm. kindergarten, we now we know how many beds we need for the jail system. Uh -huh. That 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 that's a that's a twisted system. It's the and world system. It, and it's then the I was sitting there with racism again. Is this man? I, I was saying I don't know if y'all caught it last week. I think I told I think I told it Thursday with Brother uh, Elder. It's like the rabbit and the and the turtle. The race. You remember the race? The rabbit racing the turtle. Mm -hmm. Now the rabbit has a head start, doesn't it? He yeah. he he got the speed. Uh, that's all he needed, right? Uh, yeah. To run the race. But that is why why did why the rabbit kept going back to hinder the turtle? The man with it. The man. What 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 was the threat? <laughs> what why did you just run the race and finish the race? Because it grew up the nature. You see, you see the point. So racism is where it's like, I got, I put you in a hole, yeah. and I'm I, instead of me sitting there moving forward, I got to keep coming back, to keep pushing you back in the hole. Yeah. Or to, or to, to, put, to let you know <laughs> that I'm ahead. <laughs> right. I already know you up there. <laughs> Where you, you know the thing you is, keep it, coming it, back to tell me something I already know. You see my point. It's it's like it's like we use them uh, just like a slave. I guess they use a militia. They they turn the cops. Right. Suddenly, yeah. where it's like I just want to keep you in check. Look, do you got the ball? Everybody else is on this end of the court, brother. <laughs> you got the ball, and you, you all you gotta go to the basket to score. You mm -hmm. go all the way back. Ref, I need you to check that. <laughs> right. That's yeah. that's what you got. And that's <laughs> human nature. That's huh? human nature. That is failed human nature. That is failed human nature. Same thing that happened with Cain and Abel. Yes. When, when Cain slew Abel, the Lord said, "Why is your faith falling? If you do not will, will you not also be rewarded?" Come so on. He's basically telling me, "Ain't no competition between you and your brother. Come it's on. just you and me. Come on, brother. Come you, on, brother. I'm gonna reward you as well." Come on. The fallen nation cannot let us see beyond. He can't give us that contact with the Father, first off. Right. When we, when we separate from God, we don't even see God as a judge. We don't see him, period. So not the only thing we're competing against is the guy that's right next to us. And why, and why you got to compete? Because God is not concerned about you competing. Remember yeah, that? And, and those of us who know that, know God, know that. Those exactly. of us who don't, don't know that. I mean, but they, they really think that there's a there's a benefit in it. There's a benefit in competing. And our, oh, where our white where, where our white brothers did initially, or what happened in this country initially, slavery was not a, it wasn't a social order. It was an economic system. Yeah. It was based on making money. Yes. And, and the reason it developed into a social order was because it was more beneficial to the ones who were making money to develop that social order. Yeah. They yeah. need the buffer zone between them and the people that they were containing. Exactly. They told these folks they got a water fountain. They told <laughs> them, 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 them y'all keep these folks in check. Yes. While they were on top, and I'm telling you, one of the greatest examples of, of the atrocities of our, of, of, that our white brothers in America have done against each other is the Civil War. Yeah. There were 700,000 men killed in the Civil War. For what? You they didn't have land. They didn't have slaves. They got nothing out of the Civil War but a song, a Purple Heart, and a grave. But what, were they, what, were, they fighting for? what were they fighting for? They got they statues. The landowners, they were fighting for the, 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 the foundries. They were, mean, fight, they were fighting for an ideal of positioning. That's it. That's what they're fighting yeah. for. A false, a false idea. identity is <laughs> what they were fighting for. And that's exactly what they're fighting for right now. Unfortunately, they don't realize that after 400 years, they still don't see it. Matter of fact, excuse me, they, they were fighting what the war was about, two different ideologies. There's the Constitution of Freedom, the Bill of Rights about for, for the prosperity, right? The Bill of Rights, right? The, the, the all men, mm -hmm. right? Are created equal, right? I mean, it yeah. was possible. It was an idea, and they, they, it was a threat to somebody who said, "I can't take." We, our country, could not move forward with that slavery part of our system. 
because it went against our ideology yeah. concerning uh, uh, Bill of Rights. Now, matter of fact, I want to sit there and tell you, man, that we as a country can't move forward. No, you preach. We try to go against our principles. Yeah. Even the church ministry, mega ministries, whatever, you can't go forward if you if you allow a system that hinders the freedom of choice the free will see god says he's the one that brings in the people right isn't he he told us just to lift him up yeah. and i'll draw who drawn all men to him he is he is, he he is. is. who's trying to stop abortion we trying to do it by the law yeah the law, the law, come on. But then, We're not going to change the heart of people by the law. We already know that. Yeah. So by the same token, you can't cure racism by law. You can't kill, you can't change the heart of a person by the law, period. Yeah, we got lots of experience to show us that. We see it. We play it over out. And over again. So what's going on right now? Over and over again. That's why he told us to preach the gospel, brother Addison. That's your, that's your job. If you don't get them out of work, sisters, they're going to stay lost. Exactly. That's why he said it's preach the gospel. Don't compromise with the world system. Who bewitched you to go back to the law? It does not work. You're not going to change abortion by the law. You're going to change abortion by changing the by, by ministry to let God bring in the heart and change the heart of a person. You're not even going to change homosexuality by the law. And you can't oppress people because of their orientation. That ain't, see, you're not going to change nobody. And that's why you fail miserably when you try to <laughs> legislate by the law. Let me ask you this question. And this is where, where the conversation for me comes in, is that I know that I cannot change a person. Well, I, you know something I realized that if a person don't accept Jesus, nothing I say going to make sense. Then nothing they don't. you do. And then so you, like, you, gotta, you don't change nobody anyway. That's the first yeah, thing you, know that's first, you don't change so nobody. Yeah. You minister to everybody because that's what you've been told to do. Yep. But if you sit there trying to put them down, uh, be have an issue with them, you're not going to affect nothing. The question is, <laughs> so that itself is going to be like our, our help in getting them in the, in the position. All we got to do is point our way to the light. Right. But so I, we point to Christ, and they are, the world is going to fail them because that's the way of the world. It's, it's murderous. It, 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 it kills you. Even the homosexual homosexuality is deadly as a deadly practice yes it, 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 what happened to your genes what happened to your children your line stops with you and that's in accordance with biblical you know history that's a curse for yeah. your line to stop with you if you took a medicine to stop the cells in your body from reproducing you would cause it a poison so if a, if a society takes something in it that stops you from producing then that's a poison as well to that society but that's another that's another story we yeah. can judge it but first they got to hear god that's what, and you, you don't can, have Jesus, they ain't going <laughs> And you know, the thing about it is you, you do it by living in the kingdom. You live. Gotta love, you gotta love, you gotta love the enemy. You know, this, the curses. Pray for them you know, that fight for the huge in prison. <laughs> you know, hey, brother, I, said, I was throwing at you for a second. I was throwing a holiday at you. Help first, me, Lord. The first two Help. things. When people, when, 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 when minorities sit there and, and, uh, or a person, turn their house because they're angry. What, what what do you think they're getting out of that? What, what's the benefit of that? I don't know. I I, I don't even understand that. You know what that that, that, that just the defies logic for me. What's that? When someone destroys something that they own, and I guess it's just satisfying the flesh and I can't see anything other than that. It's a temporary satisfaction. Because you still gotta clean it up. <laughs> I, I, I think I think uh, I think this is what I think that happens is that like a, a two year old does a temper they're trying to get your attention and they're thinking that they get sympathy by your temper tantrum. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I think that's that's what's happening is our world system is designed to say. I get your attention by being angry. And well, it's, it's it's still 
even for a two-year-old, is satisfying the desires of the flesh. Oh, what he wants, the end game, right? Yeah. The end game. But yeah. I'm trying to get your attention mm -hmm. by my temper tantrum. I'm sitting there, you, you know your little son? I bet your son yeah. did it, right? Didn't get him fall on his back? It's like, kid. Yeah, oh, he used to shebang in a heartbeat. I'm talking about on concrete, just wow. <laughs> I used to sit there and look at him. I was like, dude, you're, you're hurting yourself. You hurt me, but you're hurting yourself. <laughs> but if they get hurt, if they that you're hurting, they're hurting you, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, they it it did. I mean, it, it hurt me because, I mean, he wasn't making the family look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they get out in the open, when he get out in the open. But you know, they did in the hall too, where nobody else could see it. Yeah, yeah. But they got oh, you. Dude. Hey, look, they did see the one thing. They got your attention. Yeah. Well, it used to work on my wife because she didn't want to uh, be embarrassed. You see, I know. You know? And then, because she wouldn't put her hand on that boy for nothing. And Woo! I kept saying, if you keep letting him do stuff, I said, he's going to disrespect you. Yeah. You know, you got to put him in check. Come on, brother. So one time, that boy went too far and embarrassed her in front of people in the public. She tore him up. She been tearing him up ever since. <laughs> The bottom line is, I think I got out of this for this study today. I like that part about the fact of the pyramid flip upside down. Yes, you know that 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 just just a real quick. It's so profound it is. because when you look at these pyramids, only God can support from that point. Come on, Woo! only God. There's no man that can support that mass. Wow. And that what he said it did. Down. And then only way man can 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 lead is if they go on top. Exactly. And that's why to close it out, if you don't mind, because it's time anyway, is is, is somebody brother well, you didn't read that. You read this slide and then brother uh, elder you can read the next one. I just wanted to show you the the, the pyramid. Yeah. Remember it said we want a king, right? Look! Look at it. Look what happened when they born a king. Watch this. You read it for us, so we can close out. Okay. It's, it's right here. Slide show, sharing. Now you go ahead and show us this pyramid. Okay, you want me to read this? Chapter okay. fifteen. Then let the Israel demand the king. Okay. And he said, "This will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons." and appoint them for himself, uh -oh. for his chariot, uh -oh. and to be his horse. Uh -oh. And some shall run before his chariot, uh -oh. and he will appoint him captains over thousands, uh -oh. and captains over fifties, uh -huh. and will set them to ear his grain, uh -huh. and to reap his harvest, yes. and to make his instruments of war. Yes. The instruments of his chariot. Yes. And he will take your daughters to be confectioners. Woo! Be cooks. Woo! And to be bakers. Woo! And he will take your field. Take them. And your vineyards. Take them. And your olive yard. Take them. The best of them. Take them. And give them to his servants. His servants. And he will take the tenth of your seed. The seed <laughs> and of your vineyards. And yes, give sir. to his officer and yes. to his servants. Yes, and that's sir. just the beginning because they're going to overtax you <laughs> as it goes on. <laughs> yep. Read it, Elder. What you got, Elder? And he will take your men's service and your maid service and your goodly, goodliest young men. Good one. And, asses and put them to his work. Woo! He will take the tenth of your sheep. Take them. And you shall be his servant. <laughs> And you shall cry out in that day because of your king, which you have chosen you. You have chosen. And the Lord will not hear you in that will day. Not hear you. Come on, man. This Woo! It's too current. Come on, man. The Lord grants Israel. The Lord grants. <laughs> the Lord grants Israel's request. And He gets the same thing for us today. Yup. Nevertheless. The people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, "Nay, for we we will have a king of us." Despite all that, despite yep, yep. all that, brother, despite all that, we yep. gonna 
am a king. That we we also may be like all the nations, and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battle. No, yeah, no, 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 no. We want to be just like the other people. We want to be the world system. Lord help us. And we think he's gonna fight our battles. Yeah. And, and no, then, no, he ain't gonna fight your battles either. You can battle and then go back to the front and hide the bunker. I know where to go. We're going to hide out in the bunker. He just put it there. I ain't, ain't digging no more. He can't help himself. And this is crazy. I mean, <laughs> I'm reading this, Pastor, and, and I contrast this with Genesis where it says the day you eat of this yeah. you shall truly die that's the now that they're dying they say in the day that you want the king <laughs> all this stuff is going to happen you know? why are you dying what? so <laughs> it just don't make no sense it don't, yeah. that's the world system and that's what God is trying to say finish reading now but you shouldn't get the rest of us the last few anyway go ahead read the rest of it 20. <laughs> Samuel heard all the words of the people and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord oh Lord and the Lord said to Samuel Hearken unto the voice and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, Go ye every man into his city. Because I'm going to take care of it. I think, I think that was it. I think that was the last of that one. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and see, and we do that too as parents. You know, you tell a kid, don't put your hand on that stove. It's going to burn you. It's, it's hot. It's going to burn you. It's going to burn you. Right and so finally, you just like, okay, I done told you. <laughs> I want, I, but I want to be like the world. I want to be like yeah. the world system. They put their hand on there and they be hot, daddy. That's, that is hot. That, I know hot. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. But, but I like that. I like that because you see what it did? It took, that's the world system. Yeah. Basically said is, you want, and they even said it too. We want to be like other nations. Yeah. Because that's the world system. And I get rewarded this way. Because maybe I'll be one of the captains been appointed. Maybe I'll be over these other people. Mm. Come on, brother. That's that's what God is saying. So that's why I got out of that today. And and, and maybe send for everybody who will listen to it or will listen to the video is let's do the kingdom. That's why I want you to catch on that. Is we need people to understand the kingdom of God's way system is not the ministries that we see the world or the church today. It's not about how the Catholic operate or, or any other ministry operates because most of them operate in a form of godliness but using a system that belongs to the world. Right. Opposed to the reversal which is this person is the servant of all of you. The infrastructure designed for him to serve you. Uh, do, you can't you come in front of that. It's if, if if I got a car, if I got a jet, if I got a whatever, it's still all based on serving you. Yeah. I, so, I can get, so I can fulfill your need. Huh? So that I can fulfill your need. Your need. If, if I, I have if I have all these implements, then it's to the end that you are better off. Come out. And, and check this out. Yeah. And if it can't be of service for everybody, then you don't need it. it. You don't need you it. You don't need it. And you, have you ever noticed that sometimes in ministries, and, and God bless them, we all—I think all of us—because we, we all have, we all get drawn into this thing—is if the ministry operated in the system that started off with the early part of the church, which is like when people are in need, all those resources go to the people. They have. Right. The, the, the rents are paid, the bills are paid, until you can stand on your own feet. Mm -hmm. it, it, I bet your ministries will be even more productive. Be huge. It, Nobody would have lost. There's no that. doubt about it. There's, there's no doubt about it. it I mean, governments. because you you look at the 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 poor, the downtrodden, the homeless. Yep. There are so many of them. Yes. Yes. You know that will be a part of the body of Christ if they just took care of. They took care of one another. I wasn't asking that you know the potential. 
you remember that scripture the elders said about don't just tell somebody to go and be warm and be fed. Yeah, you gotta feed them. Yeah, feed them. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. I'm just saying this. So, so let's walk away from from this study with that understanding about as we move forward is to try to get us to be servants of all. Yeah. And you'll watch we're transcend. You know, Alpha's called transcend all. If you I become servants of all. I have a problem with that. I really want to see it come to pass because it makes sense. It's perfectly, the kingdom of God principles are perfect. You know what I'm saying? If we can, as a body of believers, begin to apply them, we will manifest almost heaven on earth. It's just in a temporal format, you know? And I, I, I really would love to see that take place in no way other than Warner Robins. One, one at a time. You do it, you know what started, Elder? It's you. Yeah, one definitely. At a time. Yeah, and I get anxious because I see it finally. It'll take me 60 some years to see this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody else about it real quick when they don't have a frame of reference for it, period. Exactly. But, uh, but you're, uh, the, you're the frame of reference. I mean, all of us yeah, are. You have to be. You have to become that visual for them to, to uh, behold, yeah. Yeah, so you be a servant, just like Brother Adams is a servant to his children right now. Yeah. Man, I, isn't that something? Come on, brother. He said, I mean, loving your enemies. You got to show out of love. You got to yes, show sir. your enemies out of love. You got to exactly. bless them in the church. You show it out of blessing. Yes, sir. No, I don't remember. Us, and I think I said that this this um, protest and all this stuff where you got blacks and whites in there. What yeah. we saw was we did not like what we were seeing. Yeah. The, the, the others said no longer be blind to to our past. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, when they sit there and you saw all these uh, more Confederate statues going coming down, and you see yeah. the uh, what's the other thing was coming down the. In in France, they 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 took a slave owner, I guess, or so like captain, yeah. and threw him in the water. Yeah, man. Because it's not it's not worth honoring. And uh, here's the and last thing they try in. and they try to get upset when they took down one statue, and then they put it they they lit it on fire. <laughs> you know, they put gas on it, and they try to say, "Well, we think that's wrong." They burned the flag. What? They said it's a it's a piece of metal. <laughs> They, they, no, no. They said they wrapped it up in the American flag and burnt it. Okay. So they focus on the flag being burnt, opposed Instead to of, why it was burnt. It was, you know, uh, Supreme Court already said that that's you can do that because you and I serve in the military. Yeah. Protect people's rights to protest. Yes. And and that was just a form of freedom of speech. You know what I mean? If if you want to burn it. You know, that's why we want the military to let you do that. But the fact is, we want you to understand, you can't go to some other country and do that. 